Radio people, welcome once more back to my shack. When I've done reviews and demonstrations of the radios that I've got here, I tend to be fairly critical of the 7610, the ICOM rig, because it doesn't include an audio spectrum tuning aid for CW, something I dislike very much. The picture you're looking at here is the Kenwood TS890, and up in the top right corner here, you'll see we've got a very simple audio spectrum centered around my selected CW pitch, which happens to be 700 hertz. This allows me to tune in CW signals very accurately, so when I transmit back, I'm dead on there transmitted tone and I don't really understand why ICOM don't give me that facility. The ICOM 7610 does include an audio spectrum but you'll see it goes one two three four kilohertz not zoomed in around my audio uh, my CW pitch so it, I don't really understand why ICOM don't provide me with this facility. Now practical electronics a fun packed comic that you can buy the places like WH Smith in the UK. This includes a column called Pick and Mix, something written by Mike Hibbert, whose call sign is G6COQ. That column is all about uh, microchip pick devices, microcontrollers, and projects associated with them. Now, Mike did something recently where he used a digital signal processing device by microchip, this little thing here. There's a microphone and a couple of buttons on this uh, board. And there's also, you'll see, an audio spectrum displayed on the front. Now, the device itself is a staggering £2.67 from Farnell, and there's very little other components needed, except for the screen, which happens to be the same screen that I've used in numerous projects anyway. So I really wonder why, if Mike and Microchip can provide this kind of audio spectrum analysis, for the cost of around £2.67. Why can't ICOM do that for me as well?